guys, KSK Rao here and in this video I will compare a MIUI 10 versus a Lineage OS on Pocophone F1 and these are the two different ROMs, the one which is made by Xiaomi, another one which is called a custom ROM which intends to provide a pure Android experience. So let's find out about these two ROMs and everything you need to know. Alright, so let's talk about the overview of these two ROMs, starting with the MIUI 10. It is a customized skin of Android by Xiaomi which is pre-installed on Pogo Oven out of the box. It provides a lot of features and allows the end user to explore and customize the phone according to their requirements. It also provides a built-in theme support which lets you download and install a wide variety of themes without the need of root. But for Poco, MIUI is special. You will get a Poco launcher as your default launcher which has a built-in app drawer. All of the applications are sorted properly based on categories of each section. This way finding applications is very easy. To the bottom of the app drawer you will find the search bar which quickly lets you search for any application. Now my favorite feature of MIUI 10 is a navigation system gestures. These gestures are amazing and super fast. Swiping up from the bottom of the screen will quickly take you to the home screen and swiping up from bottom and holding for a moment and leaving the pressure of touch will quickly take you to the app switcher. Also navigating to the back and forth is very easy. To jump back to the uh, previous page you can simply uh, use a gesture by swiping left or right which takes you one step back. These gestures will compensate the usage of device very easily. On the other hand, we are having another popular ROM called the Lineage OS. This is a best custom ROM meaning it is not customized by Xiaomi. The intent of this ROM is to provide a stock Android experience. The stock Android is minimal and comes with a lesser bloatware pre-installed. There are most of the people like to use a stock Android experience on their Poco. I can say this ROM will be the best choice which suits their needs. So we are having a two different ROMs. The one which provides OEM experience, another one which provides a stock experience. So at the end of the day, which ROM performs better is what it matters. As usual, I ran a benchmarking applications like the Geekbench and Intuitu and these are the scores of the two ROMs which I got on my POCO F1. Moving up to the speed test round, so in this round I will try to open some heavy applications and games on both these ROMs to see if which one outperforms over other. But keep in mind the results are produced by my POCO F1 will be a different per variant. The Lineage OS finishes the first in 1 minute 37 seconds and kept all of the applications in memory and overall round completed in 2 minute 1 second. On the latter, MIUI 10 finished this round in 1 minute 52 seconds and kept all of the applications in memory and completed the round in 2 minute 14 seconds. I ran this test again but this time, as usual, I turned off system animations as well as the transitions to find out the differences. Again, a Lineage OS I did finish a first in 1 minute 46 seconds and completed this round in 2 minute 5 seconds and MIUI 10 finishes up this round in 1 minute 58 seconds and kept all of the applications in memory and completed it in 2 minute 21 seconds. So we can say the Lineage OS is the winner here and that doesn't mean a MIUI 10 has lost the battle. The applications which are used in this round or some of them are internet based applications. Now let's talk about the uh, downsides of these two ROMs, uh, starting with the uh, lack of stock Android features of MIUI. Uh, with MIUI Android Pi, you will not be able to use some of the features of pure Android like the digital well-being, uh, the wind down. By default, it is not a preloaded in MIUI. It won't work properly even after a side loading uh, through a package install method. 
Next up, the heavy bloatware. Uh, MIUI 10 is a preloaded with a lot of applications that you won't use. These applications need more space on your device and of course, you can delete them very easily. On the other hand, the Lineage OS comes with a lesser bloatware, so only the necessary applications are pre-installed to provide a minimal user experience. Next up, you cannot hide a notch on MIUI. Uh, especially in Android Pi MIUI 10, uh, Xiaomi has removed this feature from settings. So, but you can install a third-party application from the Play Store, which lets you hide the notch. On the other hand, the Lineage OS, you can simply hide the notch from developer settings. To do so, simply head over to developer settings and look for the simulate display cutout option and choose the option called hide. That's going to be hide the notch. Next up, the camera. The built-in camera on MIUI 10 is no comparable with stock camera which you get on Lineage OS. MIUI stock camera provides a lot of options to choose over Lineage OS. Of course, you can use a Pixel 3 camera on both of these ROMs to take pictures, videos, which is a far more better than stock Android, I mean the stock cameras on both of these ROMs. Next up, the fast charging. I have noticed when it comes to a fast charging, a Lineage OS has a better fast charging over MIUI, but I can say the battery life is good on both these ROMs. The next up, the Face ID. Face ID on MIUI is more secure than Lineage OS. Of course, it works on both ROMs. You don't need to worry about it. It uses the IR cameras for scanning your face. And next up, the touch issues. MIUI 10 is lag-free, so we all know Poco had touch lag issues on earlier iterations of updates. But with MIUI 10 Android Pi, these touch issues, I mean, actually are barely noticeable and Xiaomi resolved it and made a better optimizations. On the other hand, Lineage OS, you will encounter a touch issues a little bit or MIUI 10 and sometimes the phone freezes for a while and refreshes back to the normal. Next up, gaming. Gaming on MIUI 10 is so smooth and you won't see huge frame drop issues while playing heavy games. On the other hand, the Lineage OS, yes, you will encounter a frame drops. These frame drops on Lineage OS will be encountered only when playing games at ultra high settings. And last but not the least, the battery life. And both ROM actually provides a better battery life and helps you survive your whole day with a minimal usage. So bottom line of this video, MIUI 10 is amazing on Poco F1, it offers more features over a custom ROM, but if you're looking for some stock Android experience, you can use a Lineage OS as your daily driver, and that's pretty much about it, and this has been KSK, and I will catch you in my next video, bye bye now.